Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. J, and today we're going to talk about your six-year-old molar. So first, let's talk about what that is. The six-year-old molar is the first adult back tooth that comes into your mouth at about the age of six, give or take, and it doesn't replace any of your baby teeth. So it's really one of the first primary chewing teeth in your mouth, and at that age, it's also susceptible to a lot of risk. So what do I mean by that? Well, number one, during that time period, you're at a higher risk for cavities during childhood and even when you're a teenager. On top of that, the tooth has tends to have deep grooves or crevices and because of that and the risk of cavities because of the age, you're more prone to get cavities and need to have fillings in the tooth. And on top of that, there's other teeth that are coming in the mouth. Your bite is changing constantly at that age. So a lot of times the tips of the tooth, the, the, the mountain peaks get worn off. So the tooth can sustain a lot of damage before you even become an adult. Why is that important? Well, this first molar is kind of like the linchpin for your entire bite. And a lot often because of what we talked about, the fillings, possibly you may need to get a crown on it. If the filling gets bigger and you go through this cycle, you might need to get a root canal. Well, very often, if that tooth is lost, I get this question all the time, doc, should I, do I need to replace it? It's just a back tooth and no one can see it. And in fact, I lost my first molar on the upper right. I had a root canal, I went through the cycle and I ended up losing it because it cracked and I will absolutely be replacing it. So let's get back to it. When you lose that first molar, what tends to happen is teeth start to shift. And when teeth start to shift, you start to chew differently. You may start to wear teeth in different parts of the mouth because of an avoidance pattern, meaning you're chewing around to try to adjust to this change and and really if that tooth is lost and it's not replaced then often we see all kinds of damage that, that can take place over the lifetime we'll often say that not replacing your first molar over the course of your lifetime can cost you a lot more than just doing a single implant to replace it so again it's really important if you do lose that first tooth that first molar that you replace it and another analogy I want you to think about is an 18 wheeler truck if you were to lose one one of the wheels on the back of the truck it probably be okay for a while because those trucks have a lot of wheels on them or a lot of tires but then over a long ride another tire may start to wear just like in the mouth other teeth may start to wear and then eventually over time if enough tires are worn and break down the truck the truck could actually swerve and, and, and maybe have a have an accident same thing with your mouth with your bite and that's why it's important to make sure if you do lose that first molar that you seek professional advice on how you can replace it and usually that's going to be with an implant. So I know that was a lot of information. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Just again, I want to talk about these because it's important that if it is something that you're going to have treated, that it's explained to you why do you have it before you do what you're going to do. I hope this was helpful and we look forward to seeing you on another episode of Ask Dr. J.